hello and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm showing you this threaded low bun that i shared on my instagram but it was inspired by an old picture of my mom and people loved it that i had to create a video for it over 5,000 people saved it so i thought i would share it on here so i started with an old chunky threaded hairstyle as you can see over here I think I had that in for about a week. So here I'm just going to take down the threading. I am going in with the Imbue Curl Worshipping Shine Oil just to help me undo the threading at my ends without causing breakage. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you what I do. I basically just pull my ends out of the thread and I think that's just because the knots that I create are not very solid so I can always pull my hair out and if I was to keep these in for any longer they start coming undone so yeah I need to really figure out a way to do them properly if I'm going to keep them in longer so here I'm just taking out all the threads and this is my hair I love the stretch that this style gave me and I really need to do it more. It would be a great um, wash day style and then you could just like style your hair properly after a few days when your hair has dried. So here I am just lightly finger detangling before I fully go in to detangle my hair. So when you're doing your hair it's really important to really try and remove shed hairs from your hair especially if you've got 4c hair it helps with detangling and just makes it a lot quicker and easier so i start by removing the shed hairs and i'm going in with the 4c only to soft leave-in conditioner i've already gone in with some water to make my hair more pliable and i'm further massaging the moisturizer into my hair and then I will go in with the comb. So here I'm just going in with my Afro comb. I start from the ends of my hair, but I like to not brush the ends of my hair every time. That's because the ends are pretty weak and brushing through every time you your brush goes down along the length of your hair you're basically just causing more breakage so as you saw what I did was I comb the ends a little bit and then go to my roots brush it and stop just before my ends and then once that part is fully detangled I go back to brushing it through my end So now that I have fully detangled my hair, I am going to go ahead and take it down. So this is what my hair looks like after my trim back in January as well. So I love the shape, I love the healthy ends. So I'm going in with the Wakati hairspray, super moisturising. Um, and yeah, there's just not much to say. It's just really moisturizing and does the does the job. So if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I like my styles to be pretty textured. That's just because I promote, you know, 4C hair. I promote you loving your hair. So all my styles are mainly textured. Here I go in with the Uncle Fuki's Daughter Curly Magic Gel. This is a botanical gel and it has a soft hold. If you've been here for a while, you know I am not a big fan of gels that have a strong hold because I don't like to commit to it, making my hair really hard. This has the softest hold, so if I wanted to change my hair into another style after this, I could easily do that. So here I am... Um, brushing the gel into my hair and then smoothing it down with my hands just to help with any flyaways so this is the thread that i used i purchased it from amazon and i'm going to link link it down in the description box i go in with 
more water just to get that texture popping and then I'm brushing it again to make sure it's all laid really flat before I start threading. So make sure it's not really tight because you don't want to be done and then you can't smile or pull your face because that's not fun. So once you wrap the thread around the roots of your hair, just tug on it a little bit just to make sure that it's not too tight. I just pull my skin um, near my hairline and that lets me know if it's too tight or not. So wrap it around until you feel it secure. I've seen a few videos of people who have tried this hairstyle but have struggled with it. I don't know why because it's pretty simple so that's why I wanted to do a detailed video. So as you can see with the threading, I kind of make sure that the, the intervals of the thread are pretty equal. So like the threading is equally spaced. So that helps with how it looks when you do pin it at the back. So that's really important to make sure that the threading is spaced equally as you can see here. So I loosely thread my hair and then when it gets to the end, I thread a bit more closely together and tightly and then I loop the thread around my hands to create a knot. And this is how I knot all my threaded hairstyle and it's not secure enough so if you know a better way let me know. So here it is all done and then I've gone off camera and done the second side as well and as you can see the threading is equally spaced which helps the style look really nice and put together. So just a little twirl to show you what it's looking like. I then cut the thread and here are the pins that I'm going to use. Unfortunately, I ran out of space on my phone whilst I was recording this. So I could only show the first part of the pinning. But as you can see, you basically just position the hair um, as often time as you need to till you get the desired position and just pin. It's really that simple, but you pin it across. So I tied my hair down after pinning. I couldn't show you the full thing because I ran out of space on my phone. And this is the result. And just look at that. This is why I spray my hair with so much water because it just brings out my texture. And I love it. I'm just in love <laughs> with my hair. Um, so yeah, this is the final result. And I hope you love it as much as I do. And if you recreate this style, please tag me and let me know if this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.